Let's talk about how long should you wait before you ask the woman you're dating to take you out on a date. Hi there, guys. Dating Coach Harry Wilmington here. So let's talk about this. You know, there comes a point in the span of dating a woman that most guys are going to start asking themselves this one question. When is it her turn to take me out on a date? And it's understandable because obviously if you're a guy that cares about this girl, you're being more than willing to spend your time, effort, energy, and resources to try to impress this woman. But after a while, you're going to start thinking, but there should be some reciprocity on her end. Like at some point, she should be coming to me and asking me for a date and being willing to pay for a date. So what does that time frame look like from your end? And what is she thinking on her end that's going to make her feel like she's ready to do that? Let's talk about that. As always, this show is brought to you by Get Girls Academy, my exclusive program designed to help you attract, date, and keep the women you want. As a member, you'll gain access to proven strategies, insider tips, and bi-monthly group coaching sessions where we tackle your biggest questions live. Click the link in the description to learn more and join today. So first off, guys, I want to stress that in the beginning, as much as we have the fantasy of like, oh, girls are going to come to us and start offering things, the reality is that more often than not, you as the guy are going to be the one to initiate these first few dates. You're going to go to her. You're going to get her number. You're going to hit her up. You're going to ask her out. You're going to plan the date. Can't stress this enough because women are tired of not having men plan dates. You are going to plan out the full date, right? And so you're going to plan a date, take her out, have a good time. If you go to my Get Girls Academy, I'll lay out exactly what the first date should look like. But suffice to say, by the end of that first night, you'll have hopefully done a good enough job to where when you hit her up later, she's going to say yes to a second date, right? And so for those first few dates, you are more likely than not going to be the one that's going to be planning the things and taking her out. And that's all good. But here's the thing where you may potentially get nervous is that you may start to think after like the second or third date, okay, I've taken her out a few times now. I've spent quite a bit of money. And I don't want to feel like I'm getting used just for time and attention and for what I can spend on this girl. I need proof that she's willing to do for me also. And so I want to now have a conversation about when she should take me out. Or you may just be thinking, hey, Harry, at what point should I even expect that the woman's going to come to me and be like, hey, I, I've enjoyed our date so far. Let me treat you. And so I want to try, kind of break down the layers of this, right? So early on, first and second date, after those first two dates, it, it's probably not going to happen. You're probably still going to be the one taking her out. Now, some guys that get annoyed by that, but the reality is you you really shouldn't be spending all that much on these dates in the first place. I know men get get worried about having to spend all this money and trying to, you know, pressure by, you know, taking her to places that are expensive. I have found in my dating life that most women don't actually need that. That what's really important about dates is her feeling heard and understood and her being able to laugh and get to know you and connect. And so in the process of doing that, there may just happen to be activities around you guys that you're paying for, but you're the one that's leading the shit. You're the one that's determining the places you're going, where you're going to eat, what you're going to do as activities. And if you decide to spend all this money to do that, guy, that is on you. She didn't ask for all that. Some girls that are gold diggers, they will. Don't date those girls. But most girls I found are cool with like comedy clubs happy hours, doing waltz on the beach or in the park, you guys cooking together and having a picnic somewhere. Like, you don't have to spend a whole lot of money. But suffice to say, yeah, you as the guy are going to be planning these early on. Women are looking for guys that know how to lead and know how to plan stuff. And so she gets to see you do that by way of you initially planning the dates. So let's just get that out of the way. First date, second date. Don't expect her on day three to be like, hey, I'm going to, I've had it happen before. I did girls by the second day be like, hey, I'm going to offer you whatever, but I don't go with that expectation. My honest expectation is this, guys, is that I tell you guys, it takes women two to three months to solidify their feelings. That's about 10 to 12 dates. I generally go in thinking for the first 10 dates, I'm going to plan those and I'm going to be the one paying for most of those. Now, I found in my dating journey that it doesn't take nearly that long from the woman that I'm dating to eventually start pitching in and to start uh, suggesting dates of her own. But I don't have that expectation because my expectation is as the guy, I'm leading this thing. She wants to see me lead this thing. And so if I plan the first 10 dates, it is what it is. But that's me. Now your expectation may be, but after five or six dates, reasonably you're thinking she should start offering up some stuff, right? And so here's my general take on this is that part of the reason I don't go to them to ask them, hey, 
when are you going to take me out on a date? Is because I want to see what her character is like. You see, this is one of those things where this is an example of a test that you as a guy can be using early on to assess what kind of person you're actually dating. Are you dating a person that thinks about others? Are you dating a person that is willing to put out what she has and her resources and be able to use that to show you a good time as well? And it's very hard to get just if that's a natural part of who she is, if you're trying to ask her for it, all right? I'll give you a perfect example. Someone that I've gone out with, again, like I said, by the second or third date, they're already offering to buy me a dessert. They're offering to uh, put the tip on the tab if they know that I pay for this date. They're offering things like, hey, why don't you come to my place and I'll cook a meal for you? Or you know what? It's been three or four dates. I have a nice little place that I want to take you to and I'm going to handle it, right? Those are the kind of women that when I'm dating them, I'm like, oh, okay. They're already offering that without me having to ask them for it. That's great. They're the kind of person that is more likely going to be a lot easier to get along with. They're going to be, they're willing to share the resources. So God forbid I have like dire straits in life or I lose a job or I don't have much money coming in. They're going to be willing to step up and volunteer some of those things while I get myself straight. Right. And so if I would have just asked those girls, hey, it's been like three days, whatever, I wouldn't get to naturally see that. And then I'd always be questioning if they were in fact the type of woman that would be willing to come forth without me having to ask them and do those type of things, all right? And so you want to test for that. You want to see if the women you're dating are those kinds of women. If you're asking them, you won't get to find that out as easily. Now, I've also dated women whereby, let's say it's like date eight or nine, they still haven't necessarily offered, they haven't like really said anything about wanting to contribute any kind of money, right? So at that point, I know that I'm dealing with one, with one of two type of women. Either I'm dealing with the kind of woman that just is naturally all about herself, isn't trying to help out at all, and therefore, I need to push her to the wayside. But I could also be dealing with a woman that is a traditional woman, meaning that she learned in her household that for whatever reason, the man pays everything, the man's the one that always puts the money forth, the man's the one that should be planning out all the everything in life, whether it's like, you know, dates or where you guys are going to live or whatever, and so she's just cool to go along and be a willing participant, and so she'd be the kind of person that at the end of the day would probably be a housewife, like she's going to follow your lead, she's down to do it home, whatever, but in terms of her spending money on you and her volunteering things, she just didn't grow up in that environment, and so she's not aware that it's perfectly fine for a woman to do that, right? Now, you don't know which one you're dating. You don't know if you're dating the selfish one or the one that grew up in an environment where she didn't know it was okay for women to do that, all right? So at that point, you get to like eight or nine days and that hasn't happened. This is when you can have the conversation. And the conversation is simply, hey, so like, you know, I love going out on dates with you. I love being able to take you places. But also, you know, I know I know stuff to this point. I'm planning a lot of our, our activities. And I, and I know that there's probably things that you want to do that maybe I haven't thought of. And also, also, you know, I'm cool with taking us out and paying for stuff, but I know like maybe every so often you want to treat me to some things and just, I haven't given that opportunity yet. So let's discuss that, right? Now, I found having that conversation, depending on who you're dating, you get one or two responses. If you're dating the woman that really does care for you and wants to do for you, but just didn't know that she could, then that starts to have her think like, oh, okay, actually, there are places that I wanted to go. And, you know, I didn't want to like overstep your toes. I didn't want, because I thought maybe you were just that kind of guy that just wanted to pay for stuff all the time. But, you know, I, I made my own money and I would love to be able to treat you. I, just, I didn't know if that was going to insult you. And then you get to find out, oh, so she actually does want to do that. So what does that look like? I typically told women like that. My balance is like, for every three dates that I take her on, I would appreciate just like one date of her taking me out. I don't need her like overextend and take me out all the time, but just like once or twice a month, it lets me know that she appreciates what I've been doing for her and she's reciprocating a little bit. And again, I tell them, I gotta be taken out to the fancy restaurant. It could be something like you pay for my Chick-fil-A or you give me some groceries at the store that you know I like, like something simple like that, right? On the other hand, if you're dating the other kind of woman, that's when you start to hear the talk about things like, well, you know, I grew up where the guy's supposed to pay for everything. And if you're a real man, then you pay for stuff and plan stuff. And I'm just trying to be go along, whatever this net. That's when you know you have a person on your hands that is potentially not a team player. And at that point, you got a decision to make, you know? So ideally, again, women are going to show you early on that they are, in fact, a team player. Again, I found between dates two and fours when women that are of that that Kim will typically come to you and say, oh, hey, let me take you out. But if they're not, don't assume right away that she's a trash woman or that she doesn't want to do that. She might have grown up under a dad that up to this point was like, he paid for everything. Mom didn't have to do nothing at home. So she might think that's how guys legitimately are and think that you were going to be that kind of guy. Those kind of girls can be changed to a person that's going to pay for sub sporadically, like real quick. But the other ones, 
Ugh, stay away. So hopefully some of this gives you some insight. Ultimately, at the end of the day, guys, if you decide to ask her, hey, when can you take me out? I'd say do it closer to the eight to nine dates if you haven't seen it happen up to that point. Like give it time. Sometimes women need that two months to start feeling things for you before they start volunteering things. And that's totally fine. But don't think that you're getting bamboozled or hoodwinked just because you're being made to go on to plan dates and spend money on her own dates. Again, it ain't got to be an expensive proposition. Like taking her out for a meal here and there shouldn't cost you more than 20, 30 bucks a pop. But also you can do some free stuff. So I, I've, I've gone to plenty of comedy clubs in LA and plenty of shows that don't cost a lot. I've been to happy hours where drinks are like $5 a pop. It ain't got to cost you a whole lot. And then at some point around the fourth or fifth date, most of the time you spend together is going to probably be at each other's houses to where it becomes even less expensive. But yeah, like I say, don't have the conversation. So it gives you time to see what kind of person she actually is. And then later down the line, if you find that it hasn't been happening by the date eight or nine, then just kind of bring up, hey, like what's that about? So hopefully some of this has helped you out. Hey there, thanks for tuning in to Harry Dating Convos. Don't forget to visit harrywilmington.com to download my free ebook, Texting Women Like a Boss. And while you're there, if you're ready to take things to the next level with your dating life, check out the Get Girls Academy membership program for exclusive strategies and live coaching. Go to harrywilmington.com to learn more and join today. Lastly, if you've got a question you'd like answered on one of these shows, leave a comment below or write me at harrywilmington at gmail.com. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace. <laughs>